Hello everyone, welcome back, Bogmod here. And as you can see, I am eyeing this little bottom section of the map. Thinking all of these need to be conquered to create glorious Abyssinia. Ooh, Byzantines, what did you do? When did that happen? Let's go take a little peek. King of Italy. I wanna I wanna know the history there. Conquered as a claimant. Alright, but how? Who was your relative? Which amongst you had the claim? No. I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. I kind of like that that happened. It's very cool. Uh, though, of course, now that I've done this, they're not going to be reforming the, whole, the Roman Empire anytime soon, which is too bad. Uh, no, I'm just going to get married to somebody else. This guy. Bye, dear. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fine with a new rival. It doesn't bother me much. What is this? News from China? The Jurchen Horde. All right. Most inauspicious. I do want to take Axum. Alright, let's, uh, oh, my cat died. That is terrible. Alright, let's, let's do my Southern Wars now, actually. So we declare one you uh, for wag. Declare on you for Damot. Declare war on you for Simeon. Subjugate you. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna subjugate. Oh, Force vassalization. Thousand prestige. You know what? We're gonna subjugate. That'll be a good way to start off things. Also take advantage of is the the fun trick of teleporting armies. So that is one of the best tricks. Is the teleporting army? Impressed though that you've managed to kind of hold off your own little chunk of land here, buddy. It's very good. 
very good indeed. I'll have to build it up, maybe. This little chunk here. Physite, Nubian. Are you a heretic? No, you're not. No, that's good. But one day, you will be a heretic. And then your kingdom will vanish. Because I will strip it from you. I like that random schmucks are showing up in my court. Also, I think we're going to be able to get a bloodline soon. Which I would not object to. Alright, raiders. Bah! I say bah to the raiders. There you are. Good old brawny boy. Four simultaneous wars. Mm. Mm. Leave my kids alone. Alright, son. I'm glad, but I've already got... You got a lot of brothers, and you're an idiot. So I am not going to get you married. You don't need it. Need more points. How many more points do I need? Not too many, actually. Straighten up, boy. If you don't, I would throw you in jail. Without hesitation. Seriously, it would be very quick. Very ruthless. Alright, perfect. So now you, Rick, are now good and loyal. For a certain value of loyal. And good. Dealt with. And while I'm down here, let's see if I can make her rise up in rebellion or not. Or will she just be completely crushed? Looks like she's just going to tolerate it. Kind. Let's feel that warmongering I do. That could be it. Surrendered. 
points you get. Tigrina. And Semien. With the duchy. Make you the give you the emirate of Semien. You know what? I'm going to give you the, the Emirate of Gondor. Because I can. Because I can. It looks like there's a few little holdouts in these provinces, which we will have to fix. So, wag. And black. Zella. Perfect. Perfect. Now you're happier with me because I gave you more land. Mm. I mean, he is rampaging through my territory, technically speaking, but I don't think it'll matter much. There we are. One final stop. More people showing up in my court. There we are. We have the Duchy of Damat. Gojam needs to be claimed at some future point. You know what? You, buddy. I'm going to give you a Sosa. So I have a good feeling about you. So I've got a couple provinces still that need a need fixing. Well, there we go. All right. So down here, I need. up my internal holdings. You know how I can't stand it when they're not perfect. I don't need the tournament. What I do need to do is find...
There we are. That'll fix that territory. Now, then, how is my trade coming along? Nope, we need to upgrade that trade post. I'll be stressed rather than risk lowering the quality of my work. People are trying to seduce my kids, it looks like. As happens. Right. Let's resume that. I'm no longer stressed. Good. Eh, not a bad set of traits. Actually, quite a good set of traits. Much nicer board. Oh. Just as I say that. And what should happen? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you. Be my vassal. Thank you. Alright, so that fixes that. Um, yeah, that fixes that. I need an apprentice. Yada. My courtier Shola. Oh, it's just a courtier. I thought it was my kid. I don't care if people are sleeping with my courtiers. Could not care less. Do some China. The Jurchens now sit. All right. Mm. Speaking of Jurchens, I'm going to send him. <gasps> Kowtow? No, I want to. I want to keep my points. So let's send a eunuch. Not our son, but how about this very learned Jewish fellow? And I will send a commander. Oh yes, this this Shia heretic be sent away. We'll ask for all sorts of things soon. Mm. I would like a random Chinese artifact. 500. I'll hold off on that, I think. It's a bit more than I want to spend. Mm. Right, I guess I should conquer. Oh, yes, the mythical realm of Hindustan. This is one event that really needs updating. Give me a eunuch. Everyone likes a free eunuch. thing my, my armies do have a small weakness with is the naval front. We, uh, we're not exactly a naval superpower. But I've got enough of them. I do have enough boats. Just enough. Oh, then my borders will be nice and fixed. I like nice looking borders. 
All right, you should not have pulled your armies away. That was an unwise move, buddy. It's like you don't even understand game mechanics. Stupid AI. And 99. Oh, there we go. Military Org 4. Legalism 3. Get my troops keeps. So, Military Level 4 gives you the uh, lovely ability where... Remember how we had those massive, massive losses in Africa? Yeah, because we were in pagan territory. Now we can ignore that massive penalty. Um, which is great. There we go. That's what um, level 3 gives us. There we are. I am now the highest hermetic in the land. Uh, so yeah, level 4 military gives us that. So now I can go to war anywhere without having to worry too much about the massive losses I might suffer waging my wars there. Which is great. The legalism 3 is going to let me pass a law that I really want to do. I'm a goose still, buddy. Let's see if I can find that law now. Illegal rum inheritance. So what this means... Oh, I should probably get that too. So what this means is that, say, for whatever reason, the king of Ithaca had some kids, and the kids married some of my kids, and there's a lot of kids going on. Then when someone dies, they don't get to inherit uh, outside of my land, which is kind of how I lost some territory over here. And well, that won't happen anymore. Uh, now, though, let's get that smith going. I need crown jewels befitting my status. I also have many people to be banished. Alright, that should do. Get some more ransom going, why not? Who last last laughs the longest? The infidel prince bishop left the earth. Yes, I will give up my rivalries and become kind. Oh. Straighten up, buddy. I need you to straighten up, brother. Or you know what happens. So I just let him out of jail, right? And the instant I do, he turns his attention to lusting after my wife. Well, alright. And now you're back in jail. And now I want to throw you in the oubliette. Because that's what happens sometimes. Repeat of me. You still got some ingredients. I need, yes, fine jewelry. The most, yes, one and all, so the indisputable might of House Abbasid. I need the very finest treasure. Imperial raiment worthy of my stature. Oh, 
I'm looking forward to this. Fancy treasures in my lands. Right, who to go after next? Prospers, good. How oh, prosperous is. Oh, level one. Alright. Spend that extra grand, because sometimes you need to do that to get the very top level goods. We need to improve the domain. Increases chances that we'll get nice little bonuses like that. Remember, we need level three. It's gotta be booming. Not level two, which is flourishing. Not level one, which is prospering, but level three that is booming. And then I could hopefully build another structure there. Sultan of Egypt. He is going after everything, isn't he? I'm almost suspicious. Almost. There we are. Regalia worthy of a true caliph. The dagger of glory and ruby bracelets. Let's check them out. Uh, my treasury. So we got my da ooh. So the dagger of glory, level four. This dagger, with its gilded blade and heavily adorned hilt, radiates power. Gleaming rubies, garnets, and diamonds are placed in swirling patterns along the hilt. Then I got my ruby bracelet. These golden bracelets are decorated with rubies and engraved pieces of ivory. So between the two of them, I'm enjoying a plus eight feudal opinion. I got some Tang artwork, which is always nice. Got my, my fancy silver hued war axe. Made at the behest of King Oda Gosh of Avicinia by Tasima. So I got my seal, got some ingredients, my sub came of edge. Good. Alright. Not too shabby. Now the question is where do I expand again? Now usually I might go after here. Can I do another invasion? Controls me fast and were taken. Ooh. Ooh. Could just take all of Trebizond! Mm. Mm. Choices! Choices! What else could I do? Uh, I could claim all of Sind with a similar move. But it's a bit more, it's, it's disjointed, so that wouldn't be as fat worthwhile. Mm. 15,000 men, eh? It's not bad. Oh yeah, because you inherited all of that. You know what? I'm going to let them grow. I think they're the biggest threat to me. So I'm going to give them their, a, a chance to kind of turn themselves into something worthwhile. In the meanwhile, then, I will advance east for Sind. The Raj of So... Oh, sorry. So not, not Sin. Sovira. Holy War for Sovira. Yes. Against Pratahara. Ooh, is that an empire? No, it's just a kingdom. The kingdom of Raj Putra. Is it a vassal? It's a triple crown. Mm, Alright. 
Oh, hey! You're in my land already. Interesting. that with you guys for now. As for this lot, because I see a rampaging random host in my lands, maybe we can do something about that. Holding for a bact bacture. Maybe. Ooh, I can. Double war? No, yeah. And a holy war for bacter. We'll grab both. And we can see about sieging that guy down next time. Or, not sieging, but stabbing. Stabbing the other kind of sieging. Also. And again, that'll just make things easier to manage in the future. Let's do this. And use teleportation technologies. There we go. Perfect. And on this note, we are going to take a little break. Um, there we go. Take a little break here, and then once my armies are united in location... We will make the Grand Push East, taking territory along here, and heading into the rich and quite unified territory of India, where I think we will uh, be able to form some wonderful holdings. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy, though, lest I get too close to China before I'm ready to tame the dragon. Talk to you all soon.